Welcome back to episode number seven of the Rose Audio Experience, the number one mobile gaming podcast on the face of the, this earth. It's also the only mobile, mobile gaming podcast, but they're fly, by default, we're number one. And today, after a over month long hiatus of producing zero episodes, we are joined here with a big triumphant return by none other than Mr. Frost. You know, so happy to be here on the number one mobile gaming uh, podcast in the universe. Uh, it's such an honor. You know, a lot of you know me as Alfredo Linguini, the uh, star of Ratatouille. Um, some of you know me from my days way back when doing Zoe 101 as uh, as Chase. Um, but however you know me, I'm just uh, happy you're tuning in and listening to a couple of guys being dudes. Exactly. It's crazy. You know how I know what you guys are thinking, Rose, how did you manage to get such a big star? You know, he, he's a he, a big name Disney title. Uh, so we went on one. I mean, everyone knows that. How did how did you manage to get this guy on the podcast of all things? It, I'll tell you how a it involved a lot of nudes. I, I had to really shell out there. And B, he also plays Clash Royale from time to time. I know, you know, once the uh, once the Zoe 101 paycheck stopped flowing, you know, you got to pick something else up. So then he became a pro player in in CRL uh, for two seasons. So I suppose that we should start there since that's uh, what's joining us all together here is you uh, initially started with, what, 100 Thieves and then, then went to Dignitas Season 2. So if you all don't right. mind, give everyone a little backstory of how you even got into to Clash how you became a pro and you know just that whole story of how it all the got whole, going the whole backstory okay i love it all right so basically the way i started playing is i really really hated physics so instead of paying attention to physics i played clash Royale. okay uh and then i just played you know in my spare time and then eventually qualified for the uh combine and i wasn't gonna go but yeah good friend of yours you know i'm in siege light <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, yeah, con- most, most, most positive go. guy in the community, yeah. Of course, you're just loved by everyone. He convinced me somehow to quit my job and fly out to L.A. because they wouldn't give me off and said they would fire me. So I quit my job, and I flew out to L.A., and then I talked to the Woodster and Tilted Eddie here, who's joining us in chat, who's just such a cutie, and uh, joined 100 Thieves, and that was just pretty fucking amazing. 100 Thieves was honestly just the greatest, like in every way. They were just perfect. And actually yeah dude 100 thieves is the most insane org ever like i can't tell if you're like capping super no hard no 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 literally no cap like 100 okay. percent legitimately 100 thieves was the best org like in gaming still is I'm so okay so like not. why because i do they re- okay. today on the day we're recording this i think yesterday they, rec- they revealed their like compound the 100 thieves dude, cash yeah, app compound, compound which is legit as fuck but that's not the point here so so yeah, why no. 100 thieves because they discontinued their cr team after season one so yeah, they, but they were they did, that, during that one season they were uh the greatest org according to you so why yeah so here's eddie agreeing with me but uh, like literally everything was perfect so we had a huge house like our house in comparison to everyone else's like was like a literal mansion we had a pool. We had like everything that we needed. Our In LA, food budget, right? yeah, yeah, and our food budget was just insane. The production level, like we had like a like a legit camera crew that like would follow us around and like record content and stuff. It was just Jesus. amazing. And like, and Nate Shot was like super involved, and he's like you know the CEO of the organization. So for him to like actually like spend a considerable amount, a considerable amount of time with us was was pretty cool, and it was just great to be honest. Like, Damn. we didn't perform well. I mean, that's 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 honestly like biggest regret uh in cr right. was not performing season one but i mean 100 thieves was amazing okay so the org was great and they gave you it gave you everything so like what do you think how come the performance didn't didn't happen like was it just you didn't really know I mean, what you're getting into kind of th- i mean season one honestly, so i feel like nobody really knew what was going on we, but like we had we had our issues i mean to be honest like our team was definitely like the weakest on paper um pt was pretty like you know, wet behind the ears. Uh, Eddie was solid season one. Uh, I just had horrible nerves. Like I just could not focus whatsoever. Like I think after one game, I literally passed out. Like no cap. Jesus Christ. No, like I, I literally, I was like, I like stopped breathing for so long. I, this is the dumbest thing I've ever said in my life. Like I can't even believe I'm saying this, but yeah, I literally passed out because I like forgot to breathe for like three or four minutes and just. Oh my God. <laughs> was this like backstage or something? No, this was this was right after a game. I think. 
I don't remember who we were playing. I think we were playing. I feel like it was TSM. And yeah, Yoshi knows this. So like the what would happen was I kind of like hunched over my phone so the rat could crawl down like my long sleeve because I was oh my long God. sleeve and Ugh. it could play for me. And the rat just he didn't have his shit together. So honestly, blame the rat guys. It's not my fault. Okay. I was just there to sit there and look pretty. I swear to Christ, if you read the chat one more time, I'm gonna murder you, okay? Because everyone listening on Spotify and Apple Podcasts right now has absolutely no clue what you're talking about. And that is the primary audience, so Please stop reading uh, the trolls in chat. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank, all right. You, completely, thank you. They're completely blocked out. I apologize. Yeah, ignore for them. Our Spotify they're, yeah, they're listeners. no value. Yeah, no value. Nobody likes you, chat. Nobody. Anyway. Okay. So, anywho, so after the match, you kind of just uh, did, when you say Died. passed out, are we like talking? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like I wasn't like you know what McGregor did to that cowboy, but I was. I was a little loopy for a minute. You know, what I mean, yeah. I had to sit down, lightheaded, and little, you know, take a little yeah. breather. Over a over Jesus a Christ. phone game, it was a <laughs> not my best moment. Not my best moment. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I not my best. <laughs> uh, so did you used to get like that? To, like if you had to give like a presentation in class or something? Oh, like dude, that? I had I had hor- I just have like horrible like public speaking skills. Just like being watched, I'm just not good at. But like right now, you got your webcam on and shit. Like, well, I mean, it's I guess I got used to it. I mean, like back then, I mean, at that time, I was really bad at it. Like, I was literally yeah. like. If you go back and like watch the games, I was literally like shaking, like Damn. I don't know something that shakes, like the the tumbler piece inside a washing machine is what I look like. Okay, weird analogy, but we'll we'll run with I it. Okay, one thing I could think of that shakes up. That's fair enough. Well, damn. Okay, so that contributed obviously a lot to the to the tough games, right? If I mean, if yeah, not, that, that was like and, everything. And, I mean, that was that was a part of it. To be honest, like I wasn't at even like without the nerves. Uh, season one, I wasn't at a level where I think that. I was good enough for CRL, just like flat out. Uh, was but, it like a lack of practice? Because I mean, obviously, you said 100 Thieves gave you all like the tools necessary. No, so like, definitely, it was... definitely wasn't a lack of practice. It was just like uh, just going in, like I was definitely behind like the curve. Okay. Just being. Did, out, did you guys right? have a coach? Yeah, we did. We had Gil, and Gil was Gil was fun. Gil was fun. Gil was Gil was great. To be That's honest, that's an interesting adjective to describe a coach. Well, he, okay. was, he was. He was like a. He was like a. Okay, so. I wouldn't say he was like as like I don't know how I want to put it. Like he was he was like a good friend, but like also like you know, he 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 took care of us. Like he made sure we were doing what we needed to be doing. It wasn't like a bad coach or anything, but he it wasn't exactly like the relationship you would normally have with like a coach. Right. But I I guess it's different because we were living together, right? So you're seeing a lot more of them than you are like your coach. Like you don't after baseball practice is over, you don't go and, you know, chill with your coach or go get dinner yeah no i get it it, you know right so it wasn't it's i guess like the environment's a little different and then we had woody as our manager and and woody was great me uh pt and woody would just have great philosophical like talks about existence and things and get depressed beyond belief just like at two in the morning jesus christ all right well here let's not go down that route because this is the happiest (laughs) podcast and and most positive podcast podcast of all the mobile gaming podcasts so we could skip that uh, and, and I don't really have a transition uh, ready for that because that took a turn that I was not expecting. Okay, anywho's so moving on. Uh, 100 Thieves was great. You almost passed out on stage. Right, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Then season two comes along. 100 Thieves doesn't have a team anymore, so you're a free j- free agent. And you get picked up by uh, Dignitas. Hang on. Yo, gotta... what's up? Sorry, I'm late to the stream. Gotta... Okay, I forgot the mute notifications. Okay, that's going to go in there. Arturo, you just got the most clout out of 100 bits out of every- anybody. Uh, okay. Muted. Oof. Uh, thanks for 100 bits, though. Um, but yes. Uh, dig the toss. They pick you up. Yeah, so... And what's the deal with that? So, Ox and I, uh, originally were gonna join, uh, CLG, but then CLG dropped out. So, we were kind of, like, left hanging, like, last minute. Wait, uh, did they give so you offers? With it, pretty much, like, all but. Like, we were in, like, their practice Discord. Like, we were practicing with them. They... Like straight up told us like you are the two that we want whatever. What would the team have been? You, it would Ox, been, and who else? It would have been Geo and Skills. Geo. And backstab, or not not backstab. Uh, Toby. Oh, okay, bet. All right, that's not a bad lineup. Uh, but anyway, that fell through. So we were scrambling last minute. Then my boy Tilted Edwin came in and was like, "Yo, you know, I'm talking to this org. Like, he possibly interested." And then I was like, um, "Of course." So Ox and I ended up. Uh, joining eddie and blaze for season two on dig 
And to be honest, dude, dig definitely the worst org to ever be in CRL. Like, okay, conditions season two were. Now this is where it gets kind of juicy. I don't know. Now I don't want to put you in an awkward spot, right? No, so I, don't I, I like I, I, I can say what I want. Are <laughs> like, you so I, here? Just, just to clear the air, are you going for like a season three team? Or are you going to be like a trying out for? Not. No, I'm so not. you're like done I'm, with I'm, CR professionally, right, right? So I have, I have no. So you have ultimate no freedom to like laying down the facts. I'm just you gonna can just kind of grill into them, right? Okay, obviously make sure everything that you say is true. You know, no, yeah, and... no, no, no. I'm not trying to like just like sling mud. Like literally, I've got two of my teammates that were lived it with me, literally. So, I mean, let me just like we were in a gaming house, right? And we okay. didn't have working internet. That's probably not a good start. For how long did so, the this was i don't have an exact time it was about it was a little less than half the season so i don't okay. i don't really have a great gauge on how many weeks that was but it was a decent chunk so for the first uh, half of let's just say the regular season you did not have internet in the house yeah okay we did have internet but it was it was not functional at least on any sort of like level it you can connect you to it it just it didn't work like if you tried to play a game of cr on it you would just it would just lag out and you couldn't play jesus so and so what dignitas just didn't fix it like i mean that i don't know if that's on their end like could, shouldn't they just call like at&t or whatever the right, provider right. So was? eventually eventually it did get fixed but it still wasn't great it was still pretty bad but yeah they did eventually take action on that but i mean if that was the only issue i mean it probably would have been okay but Man, okay. Just, there was just so much. Like, all right. So just just for context here, this is season two of CRL. D was D Dignitas wasn't in season one, right? Yeah, they were, but they weren't NA. They were they were EU. And okay, so this was a little bit new for them. They they had in the previous no, no, season no, they no. had not had a house in LA, right? Like just doing all no, that, they, setting no, all no, that. No, they, they did. They did. Oh, they EU did. Was, was EU was in NA, but. Oh, so they okay. Had, did you talk to anyone from the else. season one? Did you talk yeah, to yeah, anyone okay, from the so, season? So, did they so, have like similar so season problems? Season one. So season one, apparently the house. Like I had been over to the house like multiple times. The house was super nice, right? And I talked to Ben, who was the coach of Dig at the time, and everything sounded like it was really great from them. But season two, I guess like they just completely dropped interest in the game, is what I think it was. Because man, they just <sighs> completely regressed. Like we were in this Airbnb. That shit was gross. Like. Literally, Eddie and I went like Mr. Clean on that shit. Like, I'm talking, I went through like an entire package of, like, you know, like a Swiffer, right? I had like yeah. an entire package of like Swiffer wipes or whatever on a Swiffer. And I cleaned like probably like a, like a nine by nine foot area with the whole pad. And like with the last pad was like completely black still. Jesus was, Christ. It, dude, it was fucking nasty. But you said it was a nice house. It was just. Gross, no, 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 right? no, 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 no. Season one, they had. Oh, nice okay. Season okay, we're still back. Season, season two, one. Got it. Season two is this dinky little Airbnb. Right. right? It was terrible. I, I'm, the dishwasher didn't work, and it had this odor that was like coming out of it. That was somewhere between like rotten fish and like boiling garbage. Okay. <laughs> the, All right, that, that was, paints it, a picture. It was just emitting. It was great. It smelled delicious. And then once the the uh, the dishwasher just like kind of like started exploding with water and just spilled like ten gallons of water out onto the kitchen floor. So that oh, was, good times. That was great. I was cool. really happy that that happened. Right. Okay. So that's something. Okay. So living conditions were less than ideal. It sounds like less than ideal. Uh. Okay. So let's let's just jump back to season. Okay, that was still season one you were talking about right now, so season two. No, that was, that, no, that was season two. Oh, fuck. All right, my bad. I'm struggling. You're, you're, you're confused. Uh, okay, so season two, like, okay, so what else, What other problems we we run into, right? So you got internet was shit for the first half, uh, dishwasher randomly explodes. Uh, yeah. Like, what else? We had some toilets randomly explode. Uh, then we didn't have devices, so, like, every other team had, like, the actual, like, phone that you play on. Um, Which is a what? At the time i think it was like galaxy s 10 don't quote okay. me on that but is that like a huge deal though because i mean like you guys okay, yeah, all so had your phones you would, obviously you would, right you would, think, you would think that it wouldn't be a big deal but like think about it like if you took like a i don't know like a fortnite player's like mouse away they like, gave him a different mouse to yeah you know you're right you're right 
Right? It definitely like it makes a difference. Like, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't make them trash or by any means, but it would definitely reduce their game. Right. right? When it came like, game time, you know, it, it's something so the, else that you're, yeah. it's like a level of discomfort, right? You're not 100%. Right, yeah. So like the, the, the place where like, like the amount of movement you do is different. It's so like your muscle memory is like, is off. Right. So you might bit. fat finger, you know, and one fat right. finger obviously and can cost you a game at that stage. Yeah. yeah no, I, all right. I get it. So that makes sense. Right. So it That's wasn't a like scene. a huge deal, but it was just like, it was like the icing on the cake on top of like everything else. So it was right. Like so I mean, kind of built up. I see Eddie in the chat here listing out a bunch of problems with the house, but I mean the house problems. I'm not. I'm less concerned about the house problems just because I feel like I don't know. Like you said, the house itself was like kind of nice, but I mean it's like random no, shit no, no, breaks. No, 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 dude. The house was not nice at all. What's oh okay? So the, the season one house was nice. The season one house was nice. Season two house is a completely different house. Okay. Completely different. They're totally separate. It was an Airbnb. It was a. It was like a trap house, dude. It was in L.A. though, still. It was, yeah, it was in Van Nuys, which is like the ghetto. Oh, okay. So they didn't shell out a whole lot of money for the house, and then there was a bunch no, of shit going yeah. wrong with it. Okay, so living exactly. conditions were ass, it was, basically. We were, in, we were in like the ghetto, and they were like, we were like, yo, because they, they told us like the house is going to be like in this really nice location. And then we like saw it, and we were like, what is this? <laughs> we were all so <laughs> shook, and they were like, oh, th don't worry. There's, a, there's, an, there's an Audi dealership nearby, so the neighborhood's fine. They were like, Does the Audi dealership it. have barbed wire surrounding it? Because it doesn't <laughs> they, matter like, then. They were like, they were like, you can see like a $2 million house, like a couple doors down. And I'm like, that doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I, when <laughs> I stayed in LA, dude, when I stayed I'm in LA, like, uh, what was it for, for the world finals? I stayed in LA and I was in the ghetto. Apparently I looked on Zillow. It was a $1.2 million house, but I mean, you look in the street and all the cars were like broken down and like, I mean, it looked <laughs> like the ghetto, but I mean, it's still LA. Right. And yeah. you know, there's some questionable yeah, looking I mean, people if, walking if by. Wanna, I'll give you, I'll give you an example of what kind of what kind of situation we were in. So one night, I think it was, I think it was Eddie blaze and I, maybe it was ox not blaze. We were walking to a seven 11, which was literally just down the street, like just mm -hmm. down the street. So we, we get down like to the end of our road and we just hear this lady just screaming at the top of her lungs. It, things I can't say on stream, <laughs> uh, very racist remarks, just like screaming, like with a, she had a, she had a shopping cart just like full of things and she was just like flinging it all around and there were like three or four cops like trying to restrain her and we were just like oh this is great this is so great <laughs> welcome just, to la like, dude <laughs> la was wild and jeez okay had, no, no. <laughs> but, okay so the house was in a bad location and it was shitty just fundamentally so bad infrastructure they gave you right okay so when you contacted them about these problems, it sounds like they weren't exactly quick to respond either, right? So, yeah, like, so when you, I don't know who your point of contact around. was there, but, like, what, from an organizational standpoint, when you try and interact with them and the people there and, like, that kind of stuff, how was that angle? Dude, it was it was actually the worst. So, like, we would be, oh, like... Oh, fuck. I was trying so like, to, like, so save so For here. one example, right? we were trying to get, like, the phones that we actually... Like, you know, every other team has this. You know, this would be very beneficial um could we get this and they're like oh yeah hold on let me, let me put on like the british like yeah we could probably get that going on for you but you know uh it's gonna take a minute and we're like oh that you know that's that's fine you know you know take your time whatever like we're not like in a huge rush just you know when you have a chance and then it'd be like because we had like a meeting every week right so like the next week would come by and like any word on that um yeah i'll, I'll check the they'd, they'd say I, i'll check the notes <laughs> right okay they would, they would check and they'd be like yeah we don't have an update on that yet and they would just be like they just give us the ring around, you know what I mean? Like, it would just never yeah. be, like, a definitive answer. They'd be like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. And then there would just never be a result. The only thing that actually I think ever got resolved was uh, the internet. And that still was pretty bad. Oh, and the AC broke in the middle. It was, like, the middle of summer in California. Of AC broke for, like, a week. Of course. And they actually, did, they actually never sent someone out to fix that. I ended up, like, fixing the AC. Had to go handy-mandy on that. All right, so was, the house I was, I was, I was geez, done with that. Man, this house is falling apart. Dude, it was at the seams, man. It was it was not. Okay, so is part. there anything else? Like, I hate to, you know, I, fuck, man. I'm not trying to sit here and have a podcast about trashing an organization, but at the same time, this is some juicy content, right? So let's right, fucking keep it rolling. I don't give a fuck. But anywho, so the house was shit. I mean, hey, this is just facts, right? So, I mean, and we've got it's literally multiple. Facts. I, mean, I, got literally, multiple I, have my, I have my teammates here just, just backing it up. If anyone from uh, Dignitas would like to come on a podcast and give their counter story, I'm more than open to having you guys on too. <laughs> Perhaps the CEO, anybody, uh, just putting that out yeah, there. Oh, yeah. So here's the, here's the story. So uh, it, was, it was the weekend or whatever, and we were going to go to the pool, right? So me, PT, 
Blaze was off at school and, and Ox were going to go to the pool. And we're like, yo, Eddie, come to the uh, come to the pool with us. And he's like, no, I've got something that I've got to take care of. And we're like, what are you talking about? You just come to the come to the pool. With us. He's like, no, I got to do something, but I can't tell you guys about it. And we were like, OK, what? Uh, we were like, all right, man, you 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 do you. Uh, and we went to the pool and we got back from the pool. The AC was broken. And Eddie okay. hates the cold. And so we were all looking at him like, hmm. Okay, so and Eddie took like, a hammer to the AC. And he was like, I know, I know it looks bad, guys, but I didn't do it. And I don't know, <laughs> So still, my next question would be, back, okay. In the back of my mind, like, still. Uh, my, okay, so my next question, I'd be like, all right, Eddie, so you didn't break the AC, all right? Let's just pretend with that for a minute. What did you do? Why didn't you? <laughs> now you got to come clean, Eddie, right? Well, like, we, you we, didn't we, come to the pool never, with us. I, what I did you think. do? Maybe, maybe, maybe he did say something. I don't remember. He is in the chat, so maybe he can, he can speak now or forever hold his peace. Maybe he said something that he was actually doing. I don't remember that one. Okay, but, so you don't know what he was man. actually like supposed to be doing, like why he stayed back, right? Because he's not like it's not like he's a fat guy and he, he didn't want to go to the pool because he's afraid to take his shirt off or anything, right? So I don't think that's the issue. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was it was. Wait, why are we dodging that? Is that the issue? Wait, wait, what 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 happened? Oh, you were reading chat again. Stop it! I wasn't, I, dude. I, I was saying I don't think Eddie's like a fat guy, so he wasn't pulling like the card. No, no, you, no, 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 like, no. I'm Eddie, not going to the pool Eddie's because he'd have to keep his shirt on, kind of no, thing. No, you know, no, no. Eddie's, not Eddie's like in that. good shape. Eddie's in good shape. Yeah. Okay. Better shape than me. Better shape than you. Feels bad. A better shape than me? Oh my god! Wait, hang on. Do you see these triceps? Dude. Boom. Like, Boom. Right now, dude. Almost broke the camera there. Jesus. Ah, my eyes. Yeah, crazy. Well, I'm actually pretty tan. I'm actually not. Hang on. I, uh, actually, no. Nah, I don't want to do this. It doesn't make sense to do shit visually when there's a podcast going on. Isn't that right, Spotify and Apple Podcast listeners? Uh, okay, so anywho. So the house was shit. The location was shit. They didn't give you. Is there any other dirt that we want to just bring to light here? I got to think for a second. I feel like that time. was. Like that was the majority. Of that it. was the bulk. There's, okay. there's, there's, there's like some other, some other things I could, I could throw in there, but I, I feel like I, I've said enough. Like I, I feel like that it gets the idea across of what okay. we we're working with. All right, fair enough. Okay, so then here I've got some questions because a lot of people don't have insight into this. So I don't know if you're comfortable saying this or talking yeah, yeah, about this, ahead, or shoot. even if you're contractually allowed to talk about this. I would assume that you could say pretty much anything you want now. But like, how much do CRL pro players get? paid like that kind of thing what do contracts look like because like the average person has no clue right, about so that it, it, it depends on the person like it would be somewhere so players get between, paid different amounts right depending on the skill course, like of course of course like i'm sure surgical goblin gets paid a fat amount yeah i'm sure surge has like that that thick that thick boy cut but it's somewhere between like two thousand and i'd say like five thousand a month a month yeah for how many months so it's for however long you're signed so the contracts are supposed to end on December 31st of the year. That's in the CRL rule book, unless they've changed that recently. Not the two seasons that I, that was the rule for the two seasons I played anyway. Uh, some teams <clears throat> don't do that, but okay. a lot of teams, a lot of teams do some shady things. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, so I like somewhere between like four and eight months or nine months. Okay. It depends. I mean, it depends if you make playoffs and shit too, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I, well, no, no. Actually, it doesn't. I mean, you get money from, uh, from winning, you know, like your region and from winning worlds and stuff. But your contract, like, they have to pay you throughout the duration of your contract. So if your contract is through the like the end of the year, it doesn't matter. Like, if you're not playing, like all those months that you're not playing, they still have to pay you. So they give you incentives to win, right? Those are like bonuses, essentially. Right. Well, it, I mean, it's a prize pool, right? That's not like the organization giving you that's so oh. does the organization take a cut of the supercell prize pool of course of course and what kind of cut are we talking here uh and i think that it ranges somewhere between 10 percent and 30 percent i'd say that the okay. average is i'd say the average is probably 15 20 percent that's pretty standard i mean the orgs gotta make money somehow yeah. right yeah facts i think, they, I, mean, I, think they, not, I don't think that's that a cr thing i'm pretty sure they do that across the board yeah um, yeah, yeah 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 pretty regularly okay so that's, that's fine that's so they weren't like chipping you there but I mean, okay, so I mean, you seem you seem hesitant or like sketched out when you're talking about the contracts and shit. Do you care to? I mean, I, I don't know, man. Like, there are definitely like I know of instances. I'm not gonna go 
personal like you know instances because most of these people are like my friends but i know like people that are in contracts that don't or at the time didn't fit the requirements like set by the league or mm. the rules set by the league so yeah interesting okay has that been unearthed yet or like I by anybody I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really think so because supercell's like this is the way it's going to be and then some orgs are just like what if it's not like that uh, oh <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, I will leave you guys to speculate on that one, and I will not press any further because I don't want to fuck up anyone's career here or anything like that. Um, so, anywho, moving forward. Okay, so that was uh, that's Hunter Thieves and Dignitas in summary, I guess you could say. Season 1, Season 2. Season 2, you, you guys also had a fairly unsuccessful season, I guess would be a good way to put it. Yeah, we did. We did. We did bad. Now, so what was the difference? Like, is... Because well, you would... Okay, so season one obviously was rough. You just... You said you were just literally just not as good as the other players or whatever however you said it. So what happened season two? Besides, like, so, obviously you, you had, like, the house problems and the Wi-Fi. You like. Honestly, like, season one, I feel like, was just completely on me. Like, we had... Or, like, us as a team. Like, we had, like, every thing we possibly needed we have we had every chance to succeed and we just failed season right. two i felt like was just the complete opposite i felt like it really wasn't on us because we had literally nothing like that we needed and just everything against us and we were just honestly so demotivated just honestly like, the day-to-day -day was just like depressing like nobody was happy everyone was in a bad mood tensions were high we weren't winning like we started off the season bad and like maybe if we would have like won our first like three games like it would have been different but it was bad. Like I remember we won our first game, right? And then our second game was got pushed back like three hours. It was like it was supposed to be like at seven, but it was like at nine or ten or something. And yeah. We were all literally all of us had I don't I don't know what we had, but all of us were throwing up. And we played liquid, of course, <laughs> all throwing up, and we got massacred. And when we got massacred by liquid, like literally, like we were like super high up because we were like, okay, we're just gonna we're gonna overcome all this bullshit and we're just gonna we're gonna kill it, you know. Uh, and we were like off to a good start and then just poof, right down the drain. And then since like after that, it was just a downhill spiral. Yeah. How are you all throwing? <laughs> I need to stop reading chat. I'm yes, stop. please stop, stop reading chat. We'll chat. We'll take questions from you towards the end. Uh, in a little while here, we've already been going for about a half hour, so I'm trying to keep these podcasts to under an hour because your attention spans are the size of peanuts, is what I'm coming to learn. So I'm especially trying to mine, keep it, like even yeah. me, I just, I just, I like the, I like the chat. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, trying to limit that. Uh, but anywho, okay, so season one, season two, we got that covered. All right, so then now you're not pursuing season three, um, or season season four now. Really? I think. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, because you were signed season one. Yeah, and then you played two. season two, and then I was signed for a portion of season three, and now it's season four. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know anything about anything, but it's all right. Wait, what? No, because you were hundred thieves no, for one I, season, I dignitas yeah. for season two. Yeah, and was dignitas for the first part of season three. And Chat, can we confirm four. this? I don't know what the hell's I, going I, on. I, season I, two had two splits. It's season. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I thought there was two seasons, but um, I've, okay. Uh, chat, yeah, I guess I guess season, I, I, I guess okay. No, 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 chat's right. It is season. It was it was season like one and a half. It's it's season. It is season three because season two had two splits. It was like I don't know. Yeah, season two had two splits. Season one only had one split. Okay. That's why I was confused. Okay, season that makes a lot split. more sense. I was going to say, I... Splits, and now it's season three. Yeah. I know I live under I a rock, just, but, like, gee, I'm not that under a rock. There's got to be... I was, just, I was just tripping, because I was, I was thinking about it, like, in splits, not seasons. So okay. it's fourth split, but it's third season. Okay, well, now that my brain is actually in physical Melted. pain... Yeah, same. Okay, yeah, thank you for that. Okay, so you're not going for, let's just call it season three, split four, whatever you want to... You're not going for that. How come? Um, honestly, like, I just don't enjoy the game at all anymore. Fair it's enough. Just... Yeah, no, it's totally different. A lot of viewers don't understand, man. Like, it's different if you're playing the game casually, and, you know, you try and get that cool ladder push really at the end of the is. season, you like, know, whatever. But if, you got, if you're getting, like, paid, and there's pressure to compete, and you're playing against the best of the best every day, all day, and you have to play for, like, five, six, seven, eight hours every day as you're practicing, and then you, you go on stage, and you just don't get the result you want, like, it's... It becomes work, right? It's not just a fun yeah, game. No, it, 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 really it really becomes work. work. I mean, you wake up at, at like 8 a.m. and then you play all literally all day. Um, 
Mm -hmm. And honestly, like people on Twitter, just man, they just they cut you to shreds. Like they are like no mercy, just all in on you. And to be fair, like during season one, like I really it didn't bother me that much because I knew like a lot of it was true. Like that, you know, that's on me. Like this is like my fault. But like season two, you know, people went even harder and really like almost everything was out of our control. Mm -hmm. And so that was that was like one of the really big things that kind of cut me down and just didn't even want to really get back into it because people are just people are just mean, man. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I mean, there's a couple things. There's a different angle. That, like, were you feeding into it? Like, did you, you know, it, there's everyone's like, I always like to joke around and be like, cyberbullying is not a thing. Just turn off your no, monitor no, forehead no, kind no, of no, thing. No, no, like, no. obviously, that's not true, but it's kind of like, true. No, no, no. It wasn't. I would never say it was cyberbullying, like, or anything I like mean, that. I mean, okay, I guess maybe you would classify it as that, like, in, like, the snowflake world that we live in. It was just people that kind of were just demotivating me. Like, it was just, like, when you're doing something that you, like, you, you want to do, and you're do you're like you know you're trying your hardest at it and you're just not succeeding and then people are just like telling you how much you're not you know succeeding it just it demotivates you to do that thing it didn't like make me it didn't like put me into a deep depression or anything like that or right. or or anything like that it just it just kind of it, it demotivated it demotivated me la, 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 further from playing the game right which you already you know, you guys weren't performing that well, so it's already starting, you know, the house is right. in shambles, I was already so you're like, starting I was to feel down like, in the dumps, I was and then downhill. you go look on exactly. Twitter, then people are razzing you there, so it's just like, you're getting berated from all angles here with, with things, so I get it, so that's, that's a real tough scene, so now you're, uh, you're, yeah, you're hanging up the cleats, so to speak, here. The cleats. Hanging, hanging up the, the cleats, yeah, no more, so, okay, all right, well, all right, so no more mobile gaming, uh, well, okay, well, actually, that's not true, I don't know, what are your, what are your plans now, then, what are we doing? I'm going back to college, of course. Had to. So I, I have a year out of the way. So uh going to finish college. And then with a degree there, in you told me before, but maybe. Yeah. I've i we've we've been had this. What do you say? Well, uh, yeah, but we gotta, you know, hello, yeah, yeah, we're on a podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. now, so we have to inform the viewers. So, yeah, gonna go into chemical engineering. I mean, it's kinda like the family business, I guess. So to be completely honest, not really my first pick, but been a little are you, wait, are your parents paying for college? Uh, no. My well, then family, fuck that. Right, okay. <laughs> We're not going to get into my family. <laughs> it is a situation. I mean, look, we don't have to get into the family if you want, but I mean, like, dude, if you're paying for college. I, I, we can have a conversation after stream, but I okay. promise you, dude, like, whatever you think, it's just not the case. Okay, that's fair. That's it's, fair. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a. It would, I, it has to be some sort of extraordinary circumstance here because the, just, just to set, the, set the record. This one is not just directed at you. This is just general speaking, my viewpoint on this. College is a scam for ninety percent of people because you go and get a bullshit communications degree that you don't use or even care about, and then you're hundred grand in debt, and then you're fucked for life because you're stuck doing something miserable that you're probably not even going to be able to get a job in, and you got a shit ton of debt. So college is a big time scam for a lot of people. So I just wanted to put that out right. there, especially right. if your so parents are forcing you to do it because they feel that that's the the right path or whatever if right. you're not dude it's just you're not passionate so, about it you take a fuck ton of debt people want you know the, i hate it for that reason so like so don't get me wrong there's some people that you know it's good to go to college like, if you want to be a doctor like you literally have to go to college and you know some people like for me my major was intelligence studies and now i have a job in the intelligence field it, it's kind of hard to get into without that so like sometimes it makes sense right and plus my parents paid for mine so it was literally a four-year vacation with a free free degree at the nice. end so for me that makes sense but if you have to pay for it yourself Right. Sketch, so sketch nation. I, I feel like I feel like what a lot of people do is they 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 look at work as I mean it's if you love what you do I mean that is just on it and you and you make like a, a decent living doing it like that's all you can ask for really I think that at the end of the day though for most people you're not going to be able to get into a field and be successful and love your job like that's just not reality. Mm, um, I would for, disagree, but okay. For that, that's you know that's my opinion. I just. I, like, is it easy? No, but be... I think it's possible because the internet opens up. No, 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 no. It is possible. I'm just saying I don't think that it's possible for everyone. Like, so like, let's say like you know you hate the core, you're like STEM fields, right? And like, you know, you want to be an artist, but you don't have the talent to be a successful artist. Like, you can yeah, you gotta happy. be self aware, right? And 
Yeah, anyway. I think I'd love to be, you college. know, I'd love to be a pro basketball player. That'd be pretty fucking lit. No, exactly. I'm 5'10", white, and mediocre, like, I'm semi-athletic. So, it's probably not going to happen by now. You know, I'm 24. I'm starting to turn into a boomer. I might think I'm past my prime. Going to have gray hairs any minute now. So, I don't think that's in the cards for me. So, I'm not going to pursue that, right? But I do know that I'm fairly decent at video games. So, I might as well try and pursue this. You know, this is kind of fun. And uh, we'll see where it goes, you know? So that, that's right, what you, no, you, you got to be self-aware and, and, you know, you pick something that you're, you're good at and you enjoy and then you find a way to monetize it. But obviously it takes a level of self-awareness to find out what that is. And I yeah, guess the way to I find mean, that is know. by trying a bunch of different shit until you find something. But a lot of people gotta, don't take that step. Yeah. But anyway, enough with enough with uh College yeah, talk. that was more. That was more for the audience. You know, I'm not trying yeah, to yeah, give yeah. you a life lesson here. That was actually like no, 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 no. I, mean, I, I know what you're saying, but I, I feel like the biggest thing to remember is that there are some general like rules that you can think about, but it really depends on your personal situation. Like at the end of the day, you know your situation better than anybody else, and so I feel like you're the most educated to make that decision. Oh, 100 percent. Which is basically my entire point is you know right. your parents don't need to make decisions for you so and I'm, this isn't at you this is just in general like because a lot no, of people I, I know, they'll, they'll, I know you know, they'll go to college because their parents kind of push them to mm. it right you know? but I, I would say that generally when your parents push you to go to college they're also funding or helping fund your college oh yeah no if they're paying for it fucking take it man yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't it, i don't think that, that there are like up. parents that are like you have to go get you know there aren't many parents that are like, you have to go get this degree and you know, you got to do it by yourself. I, I see. Okay. I, like I, I see. What's going on. Okay. I, I, I understand. Yeah, no, you're right. Everyone's situation is different though. Okay. So you're going back to school. All right. Good shit. Well, Hey, you know, what'd you say? It was biochemical engineering or some crazy shit. Chemical engineering, chemical engineering. Okay. I don't even know what that does. Do you know what that does? Yeah. We chemical engineer what kind of chemicals are we talking Final answer we got like all of them okay do we uh, all right get, get even closer to the mics so that we peak and blow out the eardrums right, of the so listeners get really close in here and we take it to an asmr level stream right oh my god you know what i'm saying are we you know what i mean yeah this Billy, is really Billy hot keep going i'm, I'm aroused <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry <laughs> Call me off guard. Yeah. So anyway, like the the story is basically like my entire life I wanted to be a chef, and now I'm not gonna be a chef because. Wait, are you memeing or is this like a ratatouille? No, 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 no. Like actually. Oh really? Kind of. Wait, are you like are you like really good at cooking and shit? The the ratatouille joke kind of falls in like really heavy because I I really did want to be a chef. Fuck. Well, I mean, wait. So are you like really good at cooking? Um, I I like to think that I am. I mean. Holy but, shit! I don't know. I'm like not a, well, at a professional level. Well, obviously not. I mean, <laughs> so why don't you go to like the Culinary Institute of New York or some shit? It, like, like I said, dude, my situation isn't really something that I want to get into. But okay, so that's not even an option. It's a or is a, I, it's right. really not. <laughs> okay. But, uh, all right. All right. That's fair. We don't want to go. I you know I just I, I, after this I want to dig into it just a little bit. I don't want to like get your entire you know. No, no, no. You, you but I'm dig, very curious. Cause I yeah, can't yeah, really yeah. imagine. No, I, I, I'm fine with telling. I'm fine with telling you. It's just like it's not something that the I general want to public. Be. Yeah, no, I got exactly. it exactly. Yeah, no, it, that's it's that's a, fine. No worries. And it's gonna be like a two uh, two hour story minimum. Holy fuck! So, All right, I'll like, prep my. I think head. I told okay. Oxes and Oxes here. I I told him like a little bit, and yeah, I had a whiteboard out and everything. It was it was quite Jesus the Christ. <laughs> no, like seriously, like we're gonna need to like open up like uh, a place where I can like doodle or something, or you're gonna lose track. I could write a book. There you go. You could be an author. I could write a book. I could be an author. And a if chef. I any, we got. If I, if, I had, if I had any talent for book writing, it would. It'd make one. I could sell the story idea. Damn. All right. Well. Holy fuck! I am. So, I kind of want to end the podcast and stream right now. And just die. okay. I'm not going to do that. That is very intriguing, though. Okay. Nice. So, any who's. Um, not okay. Here, chat. Uh, if you guys have any questions for for Young Frosty here, feel free. I'll pull a few of them. Uh, we got about 15 minutes left in my self-made deadline of this podcast, so uh, I'll, I'll take at least a few of those. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's the general life story of what you're up to and how you even got in Clash and 
and that kind of things. Oh, I actually didn't mean to ask you this because uh, this is kind of personal. Like, I don't know. This is more for me than for anyone. But I, I still think people will enjoy listening to this. So you were a pro player, right? Mm-hmm. Two seasons. And you you, t- mm-hmm. you streamed a little bit, but you didn't stream a whole lot. You didn't do. I don't think you did YouTube very much, if at all, or anything no. like that. How is that? Just not your groove. Just weren't weren't into the content creation portion of it. So, I hate YouTube. Like making YouTube videos isn't my thing. I liked um, I liked streaming on Twitch sometimes. Like when I was in a good mood and like the energy was high. Like I I love to do it, but with like hundred thieves and with Digly, we were both like losing right so like my mentality was pretty bad at the time and then like going on twitch and just literally just like you suck you suck you suck you suck you suck just wasn't yeah wasn't helpful i wasn't fun either so i just didn't do it very often no i hear you on that one okay that's fair see because i'm like jealous as fuck right because i wish i could be good enough to be a pro because then i would have like that stage where you get the spotlight and you get obviously like way more exposure and then obviously you're good so your content is better like that's i would kill for that shit so it it always just like I'm so unbelievably jealous and I totally get why you didn't, you know, at the end of the day, if it doesn't make you happy, then don't fucking do it. But like, you know, I'm sitting here just like, fuck, I wish I had that, you know, instead I'm mediocre and just extremely good looking and I have to try and make content based on that. It's it's, it's a tough scene out here, man. It really is. I should just go full webcam. That's what my chat always tells me. You really, you really should, dude. You should just be like a a just chatting and you get like a really deep cut, like V-neck, right? Uh, Dude, that's what I've been saying. Get like a little bit of nipple slip action in there every now and then, right? Um, Yeah, I mean, apparently, I mean, Twitch is very random with their bands. I'm going to, I'm going to hit you with the, I'm going to hit you with the secret move. Okay. So this is what you do. This is what you do. Everybody get real, everybody get real quiet. Okay. Because we can't have this spreading around. But what you're going to want to do is, is you get a whiteboard. Okay. And you're gonna to want to position the whiteboard Something. really, really. Thank you for that. the sub, Ron Jeremy sixty nine. So you get the you get the whiteboard really. And then you write their name right? here, right? Oh yeah. And then, and then you, when come you back. get a little notification. Oh, lower, lower to the ground. I mean, on the floor, man. Thank really you. get that arch. Thank you so. That's that's so man, much. That was pretty for good. the sub. That was pretty so, good. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. I feel like you could have had a little more like arch in your back and getting. I could only get so much, dude. I don't know, man. I feel like if you did like some yoga stretches, you could get it. I feel like you Mm -hmm. could get it. And then you just you hit them with that action, and man, these these like eleven year olds are gonna be like, Twitch primes for days, man. Mom's credit card all day. They're gonna be like, Dad, give me your wallet. Why, son? I need ethot pictures. (laughs) Yeah, dude, don't even get, and then, then that leads down the rabbit hole of their OnlyFans account and premium Snapchat. Bro, yeah. Not gonna lie, though, if I was a female, I would 100% milk that's for all it's worth. I would be doing the exact same goddamn thing. No, like, A honestly, million percent. Definitely. There, guys, I can't believe anyone is saying these things to me. Everyone is here for my personality, but more importantly, my cracked Fortnite gameplay. Now watch me do 90s. Oh, dude. I saw this one streamer where she was playing Fortnite, and the webcam was literally bigger than the entire Fortnite like gameplay. Right here, Just... it was hilarious. It was like it was like seventy five percent webcam, twenty five. You couldn't even see what was going on in Fortnite. And she, I, you know, I feel like I feel like she's 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 big brain. She's got it down. No, she had like a hundred viewers. So I mean, it's like God no, damn, she, okay. was, she was there for her, everyone was there for her personality. But I would just say, like, let's just throw in the towel, go just chatting only, scratch the Fortnite and get 200 viewers. But I mean, hey, you know, it's, I, yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's her thing, I mean, not I mean, mine. You're not, you're not, you're not wrong, though. But I feel like, you know, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere, right? Like, they gotta lure in the, the 10 year olds from Fortnite first, right? You gotta fish them in. You're not wrong. You know what I'm saying? And then once you have, like, a little bit of a fan base, then you switch over, you know, take the jump over to just chatting. Cause nobody, nobody's just gonna join your just chatting. Cause let's be honest. There, there are hotter females out there on that platform. There's competition is fierce, man. It is. Cut really throat, is. It's like cutthroat kitchen in there. They're like, oh yeah, Becky, you think you can stream on Twitch? Well, let me tell you, I got my 12 year old army. They're, 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 they're ready to go. They'll fight for me. They'll die for me. I'll kill you. Damn, that was okay. pretty on point. I feel like you've done that before. I that was the first time. Oh wow. What? Take one. Shit. Oh well, uh, chat. I-, I asked you guys for questions earlier, and then um. I completely ignored you guys and didn't read a single one of them. So if we could like repost those, that'd be great. And then I'll pull like probably two or three. Uh, if you guys are listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or wherever right now, I stream all of these podcasts live on Twitch. Uh, link will be in the description. So that, that'll give you guys an opportunity to watch live. Uh, 
a little bit more interactive because you guys get to ask questions, that kind of thing. So um, just keep that in mind moving forward. But obviously, I post them all the next day on Spotify and Pocket and YouTube and all that good stuff. So keep that in mind. Uh, where are you going to college or university? If you care to answer that or not, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I so I, I feel yourself. like most people that don't have full rides, you usually go to community college first, and that's what I'm doing. I've got no, that's the big brand play. You save a shit ton of money. Yeah, exactly. So I've got one more year of that, and the classes are more interactive because smaller uh, amount of people in each class. So doing mm-hmm. that first, and then gonna move on to uh, university, and then live life. All right, fair enough. Uh, someone's asking about the bathtub story. Does that mean anything to you? The bathtub story is uh, not a quick answer. Uh, it's for another day. Okay, fair enough. We'll have to get you on episode two uh, sometime in the future when I run out of content. Parse. Best nade shot hunter thief story, if there is one. You said he was pretty like pretty interactive with you guys. So I mean, yeah, so he's pretty cool. So we threw. I guess we didn't throw it. We were, we were there. Uh, they had a surprise party for him, and that was really cool. Like we just got like a shitload of Chick Fil A, and we everybody hid behind the couch. And- Gave the man a heart attack, and then we took a lot of pictures, and it was fun. And he's just a cool guy to hang out with. Oh, yeah, so he's actually cool. Well, lit. I kind of figured that he seems like a decent dude, but yeah, no, then again, he, he like, I also heard because I'm a big uh, Nick Merckx fan. I'm sure you know at least aware of who he is, and I don't know. Apparently, Nate shot kind of fucked over Nick Merckx. I don't know. Mm. They're like boys. Yeah, I, have, I have no idea. I'm, I don't know the inner workings of that, but it kind of I don't know. You know, like I, I Nate Shot presents himself to be a pretty good guy, but then at the same time, if 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 my boy Nick is kind of sketched out by him, or, you know, whatever, then yeah, it's no, like, I, I, what's going I on here? That. Something that I don't uh, see. All, all I, all I can speak on is like my personal experience with yeah, him. Yeah, of course, like, right? Because honestly, it's hearsay. Like Nick says one thing, Nate Shot says another thing, and for us, like everything was great. Ten out of ten would do again so for that it makes me hard to believe like things were so bad for nick but i don't know for sure so i guess just you gotta look at what both of them have said and then form your own opinion it's kind of like sure. the, the thing is is it's kind of like um when you have nobody else to back it up it's kind of like a just mud slinging right like yeah, there was course. some there was some like thing that was trending the other day where uh warren said that uh God, I can't. Bernie Sanders said that a woman can never be president. And like, even if he did say that, like, why are we even going to bring that up? Right. Like, how is that relevant at all? There's no way to prove or disprove what he said in a private talk. It's just stupid. Oh, yeah. I mean, I I don't. That's why I don't get into politics because it's just like dumb shit all the time like that. Like, I mean, it's like high school half the time. If if there was issues, like it should have been something unless it was absolutely horrible that was handled privately. And yeah, there's just throwing mud at each other doesn't help anybody. And here I am throwing mud, but yeah. Okay, so anywho, getting past the the shit slate. I have I have witnesses. That's that's the difference. Yeah. So okay. So um, chat. Last chance to get in a question. I'll take like one or two more tops. Uh, while I'm killing time right now, someone in chat mentioned about the time your cat died on my stream, and I figured that I'll just run the crash course on that one. Uh, we were doing a, a little co stream where we we're just you know we we're, we we're doing some gameplay. I think you were trying to teach me how to play two point six hog. Uh, you said that your sister screamed, you went to go see what it was, you came back two minutes later, and you said your cat died, you gotta go, I was caught unbelievably off guard, I think I actually chuckled at that, because I didn't know if you were serious, and I was nervous, because I had no idea what the fuck was, <laughs> caught me off guard, to say the least, and then, uh, then you left, and I was stuck there, awkwardly, with no music on, and my co stream partner, their cat just died. So I was, that was a interesting day. And that was like back when I was like kind of still new into streaming. I don't know. I was probably six months into streaming. So like, I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the crash story on that one. I, we don't need to dive too deep because obviously that can be a tear jerker yeah. real quick, but it was a, uh, it was a feels bad. Well, good on that one, but still it makes for a hell of a story. I mean, Jesus Christ, not too many people could say that. I was just a, it's a shitty day to be honest. That day really was bad. I yeah, mean, I'll say. Honestly, like, it was probably a good thing. Like, my cat at the you know at the time was blind, had cancer, like or a brain tumor. I don't know that it was cancerous, but yeah, it was a mess. So probably was very unhappy and probably better off for it. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, well, we can't end the podcast on that note. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Um, <laughs> a little too dark and holy depressing. Shit. Chat, does anyone have a, uh, a more positive question? Do you still play CR often? 
Uh, not very often. I, I play every now and then a couple of games, but casually. not like, yeah, casually. Like I'll come on the, your boy Rose stream and uh, get in a couple of games, of course. Yes, of course. I mean, you still got it. You know, you're not, not rusty yet. Well, I mean, you're probably rusty relatively, but I mean, still like, I'm sure you could finish top 1k ladder like fairly easily if you just kind of sat down and took the time to play. Right. Yeah. I mean, if I, I, I feel like if I spent a couple of weeks on it, I could be back to where I was. I, yeah. Honestly, like you don't really, I don't know. It's kind of like riding a bike. Yeah, no, I, I get it. That's the thing, man. A lot of people don't understand. That they don't quite conceptualize is like even like the worst pro players. They're still better than literally all of us jackasses sitting here razzing them. Like it's like, come on, you know, like the worst pro player probably finishes like top five hundred global in ladder or some shit. Like, like you know, it's just like we can't conceptualize. It's still good as fuck. Like. So there, okay, yeah. there's some there's some gas. I just gassed you up a little bit. I like that. A better mood than I was a minute ago. I was, I was a sad boy. Stuff. Okay. Well, here. Um, I think that we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, I'm reading the chat right now, and it's literally just a bunch of idiots. So, with that being just a said, bunch of boneheads. Is there anything that you would like to? Any closing thoughts? Anything you'd like to plug? Uh, any, any, you know, what are we thinking here to round it out? I don't know. Just uh, stay safe, y'all. You know, live your life. Stay safe. All right. Hey, there. We go. There's some uh, words, words of wisdom here from Frost. Out here, man. Yeah, yeah. Be careful. Dude. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Crazy times. World War Three and shit's coming on. So especially in LA, don't man. Get you're in LA. Watch don't out. get nuked. Dude. Don't catch the coronavirus. Just put the mental condom on. Push through, and you'll be good to go. That's that. That's that's how we're ending. All right. Put the mental condom on, you bots. Uh, actually, before we end here, I want to remind you guys, if you enjoyed this podcast, be sure to a, leave a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, or whatever. That helps me out tremendously so that way when people search gaming podcasts, mine pops up. That would be great. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, same deal on Spotify and uh, Apple Podcasts. Subscribe. It's free. Uh, I'm going to try and post a podcast once a week. That's gonna. I think I can kind of stick to that schedule. But, I mean, it really depends on uh, guest schedules, when we can uh, get them on and that kind of thing. So, uh, we'll we'll figure it out, but that's going to be the rough ballpark, all right? Um, links are all in the description for my socials, RoseAGG uh, on pretty much everything. Um, Frost at Frost599 on Twitter. I don't think you have Instagram. No. No. Okay. Any reason for that? Just curious. I don't know. Instagram seems like a lot of work. Like, you got to like, be consistently posting pictures or people are like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah, you're not wrong. How about, right, t- dude, are you on TikTok? I'm not, dude. Should I you make a TikTok? TikTok? Dude, PT and I were talking about doing some collab TikTok. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I would, not even I making TikTok. I would do, I would do TikTok. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have, of course, got to support my boy PT who has a TikTok. Yes, of course. I feel like he's going to do well on there. But, like, I'm not even talking about, like, making, Facts. like, do you, like, I don't know. I, yeah, no, of course. I love TikTok. I love watching them and making them. But, like, yeah, oh, my God, yeah, it's great. You, you look like, you look like the type the hell is that supposed to mean i didn't mean anything by that drop a like on this podcast and subscribe if you haven't already all right see you guys in the next episode bye bye